power will shift. Different employees will take different positions. They'll move up, they'll move down. And when power shifts, it can be very uncomfortable. When the power shifts and, you know, that person who might be a founder has, you know, gets somebody else on their team who is responsible for managing their time. So that could be an assistant, that could be a chief of staff, that could be an operations lead, it could be whatever it is. You'll see that it's a very interesting transition because they're not used to answering to anyone. It's very similar to if you were to hire like a personal trainer. You've ultimately told the personal trainer, look, I want to get in shape, build some muscle, lose some fat. And they'll say, okay, here's how we're going to do it. And they're going to kick your ass ideally when you're in the gym. It's a similar thing because even though the owner, let's say, pays a chief of staff or a, a personal assistant, it can be a little bit difficult because the founder, the owner whatsoever is not used to being managed. So when power shifts like that, it can be very difficult to get used to. And one thing that I highly recommend is really, again, solid communication. Don't even leave the boardroom until you guys are actually both on the same page. And you know, the thing is, is that